Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, my topic is the influence of very rare vibration on the damage of rear fasting system for high speed railway. I'm from CAS. Uh, I described the problem. I describe the problem uh, with six parts. The first part, uh, conclusion uh, or track uh, background. Uh, some of this phenomenon happen occasionally in high speed railway, such as rear corrugation and uh, rear polygon. Uh, these days, uh, uh, some professor discussing the two problems. A few uh, clips damage occurred in some section of rear corrugation and the uh, inside inline uh, rear plugin. Uh, inside uh, the position of fracture of clip uh, is on the hair of the clip, and the vertical uh, fracture uh, location is on the hair. So the position is different. So the reason of damage of clip is not exceeded uh, loaded. We have failed investigation uh, in line. Uh, the result is uh, no more restoring condition, and uh, the track is in no more condition, and the inspection of the track are no more. And so, fastening Tokyo is basically no more and the stiffness of the elastic pad is normal. And in sight, we find uh, uh, there is rear congregation on the rear surface of some section track. The wavelength is about 120 to 1 150 millimeters. The maximum wear depth is 0 0.11 millimeters. And in some lines, uh, we find uh, the polygon wear uh, generally uh, is the 18th order. We have International performance test of deep, we find the fracture section have the three zones. The one zone is the one zone is crack uh, source zone, and the second is the vertical expansion zone, and the third, third is break zone. And we have international performance test. Uh, we find the spectrum of result of test could be seen that the hardness, the decoupage layer, and the metal graphic structure on the broken and the unbroken clip are within the standard range. Uh, it's normal. Uh, we have natural frequency analysis of clip. The result of calculate is the clip has two other metal characters at assembled state in the frequency range of below 
1,000 hertz. The first order mode sh shape is a two lamps of the clip anti-versary vertical vibration at uh, about uh, 500 hertz. And the second mode vibration mode is uh, two lamps of the clip sampletry vehicles vibration at, uh, at uh, 570 hertz. And uh, really, the maximum stress position at uh, 570 hertz is at the supporting point of the clip is on the hair. The hair, the position is the same with the fracture position inside. And we have modern tests for clip. The, the method of harming is used to test the mode of the clip with a, lot, with a total of 29 exciting points. The hammer adopts the aluminum height to improve the bandwidth of the fourth sparing. And each exciting point is hammered three times to get a rigid result in order to reduce the test error. And the test result uh, is uh, have uh, two frequency uh, below 1,000 hertz. Uh, the first one is uh, 493 hertz. And the se second one is 568 hertz. It's similar with the uh, Calculation result. We have dynamic behavior test in site uh, for real corrugation. Uh, that is, uh, wavelength is about uh, 120 to 150 millimeters. Uh, the speed is 300 kilometer per hour. The result is very rare lateral force have little difference in general. And the lateral displacement, displacement of rear are basically equivalent. For rear vert vertical displacement uh, without corrugation, and the weight corrugation is uh, similar and for rear, rear vertical force, uh, the rear vertical force increase about uh, 70 to 90 percent is very large. By FFT, we find uh, two uh, frequency uh, uh, one is uh, 527 hertz, and the second is, 60, uh, is 640 hertz. The, the two frequency is generated, and the vertical uh, displacement is saved for the first of friends and the second of friends. Uh, why there are two frequencies uh, by FFT? Uh, I think it's the effect of Doppler. Uh, my colleague uh, will explain it uh, ne next speech. Now, uh, the Acceleration of clip uh, is tested uh, from the, this result. We, we can see uh, with, with corrugation zone uh, 
the acid ratio of clipper is very large. Uh, for example, uh, side like lateral acid ratio of clipper is above 600, uh, uh, 600 G. It's very large. So the clip is resonance. And for particle uh, wear, the max wear real force is about uh, uh, 98 kilonewtons uh, from the first car to seven cars. And the eighth cars, the force is over 100 kilonewtons, nearly uh, increase uh, 20%. It's because from uh, uh, this train uh, is test train from first car to uh, seven cars, uh, the wear is normal, and the eighth car uh, is uh, is polygon wear, so uh, the acceleration is very is very large uh, over. 400 G. By FFT, we find uh, same, the same. Uh, uh, there are uh, two uh, frequency. Uh, one is one is 517, and the second is. 613 hertz. It's caused by the plug-in wear, or plug -in wear. Now we discussion uh, the vibration feature mechanism analysis of clip damage. Vibration feature uh, mechanism is uh, in some section track or in some uh, line. Uh, if there are real corrugation or polygon wear, well, uh, there will be generated high frequency uh, excitation. Uh, for uh, real corruption can be calculated in this formulation, uh, simply. Uh, if the uh, wavelength is about 100 more millimeters, and uh, the result is uh, two frequency. And the particle wear uh, is also the same. It can be calcul calculated uh, with the formulation. If the high frequency excitation, the frequency, uh, if close to the clipper natural frequency, then the clipper will be resonance uh, with long time, the clipper will be may be vertical fracture, and the position is on, on the hair of, of the clip, in the same uh, position uh, with inside. Now the conclusion is there are real congregation and a real uh, polygon where optionally. Uh, sorry. Uh, time okay. is up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, again, it's okay. Okay. Please. Uh, thank you very much.